What's going on, guys? Lots of stuff. Biggie Hall's back again. Uh, lots of random stuff, as well as lots of comics. The storms have passed. I'm up to date. So, we'll just kind of get into it, because there's a lot to go through. So, I'll show the stuff first. So, the first thing I picked up was a pair of some uh, Thor earbuds. I picked up two packs, one for me, one for my friend. Uh, have to rock out. I, they were cheap, like they were like a couple bucks. Uh, also picked this up uh, at the comic book shop. Just a print of uh, Inferno from Inhumans. So probably frame it and put it up. And then I uh, ended up going to see Captain America again and uh, got myself. Uh, one of the posters they were giving away for the IMAX 3D, and I, I was a fan of this poster. Loved it. And then uh, I actually ended up buying some uh, some new Blu-rays. So I'll show you what I got. Picked up uh, Electra. Most of these I have on DVD. I just wanted to replace them in Blu-ray. So I picked up Electra. Dark Knight. Batman, this is like the Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, more Michael Keaton goodness, Beetlejuice, Daredevil Director's Cut, Sin City, uh, a local movie, Hobo with a Shotgun, Batman Begins, and American Psycho. And I picked those up for five bucks a pop, so I could not pass up on them. Uh, I haven't read most of what uh, I've got. I've just started reading, so honestly, I won't have much to say about uh, any of them. Uh, and they're in no particular order of the week, uh, just because I picked them up all at once, so they were... All together, and as well as I have a whole bunch more back issues, I'll shoot a back issue after I do this one. So we'll just start. We have the regular cover to Red Rover Charlie number five, and then number 30 Batman, number 16 Nova. Then uh, number three of What If Age of Ultron. This is the normal cover. Uh, number 11, I think this is the second last one of the movement. One more, this got cancelled, so there's only one more issue of the movement. Issue number six of Sidekick. Seems this came out a long time ago. I don't know. Seems to have been a while since I've read it. Finally, finally got issue number six of Superman Wonder Woman. Uh, they were having issues getting it in, I guess. Uh, it was, they didn't, they got short ordered on it. So I had to wait. I think this came out last month and they just got it in this week. Then issue number 30 of Swamp Thing. Issue number 30 of Green Lantern. Uh, issue number 19. I think this is the last issue that I pull. Because I stop pulling this. I read this in trade. So issue number 19 a Revival. Then issue number 3 of She-Hulk. I love that cover. And then as you saw from the print. I picked up. Issue number one of Inhuman. I actually did read this. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I don't think it was uh, as epic as they said it was going to be for this to be the next big thing. Um, but we'll see in the other issues. Apologies for the glare. And then we have uh, the variant cover of issue number three of What If Age of Ultron. And then this is the variant cover of issue number one of What If Age Ultron. It's probably my favorite cover so far. 
so much. I picked up two of these. Um, I plan on getting an Ultron tattoo, and this I wanted one because it's somewhat based off of this kind of a uh, couple differences, but good reference material. I actually read this. This was a. Uh, I didn't like the second one very much. I haven't read the third one yet, but this first one was really, really good. I enjoyed it. And, uh, variant cover for issue number two, What If Age of Ultron. Pretty, uh, tough cover. And then Hulk number one. Uh, I did read this and I was like, wow. Uh, I like I like the direction this is going already. I like it better than uh, I think anything I read in Indestructible Hulk. So I'm pretty pumped for this. Uh, this is a good jumping on point if you're not reading Hulk already. This is a whole new whole new series uh, and whole, just a whole new thing. And then uh, picked up this is the last issue, issue number eight of Trillium, and this is done. Sad to see this, but at the same time, I think it was time to wrap it up. It was getting a little long-winded. Then we have uh, issue number one, Deadpool versus Carnage. Uh, I did read that, and I read this one as well. Issue number two, Deadpool versus Carnage. This is cool. If you like Deadpool, like, it's just funny. It's like a violent, funny comic. Uh, so it's like good light reading. I, I liked it. It was... It was, it was pretty humorous and then the series finale uh issue number 31 of the superior spider-man uh, i did read this um as well as it, it, it's so thick it came with a like a teaser of a couple of pages i take it of silver surfer in the back uh, i looked at that too and stopped reading it uh, silk surfer looks like garbage and it reads like garbage um but this superior spider-man was very very good uh i'm not picking up the amazing spider-man i don't collect spider-man just superior and we're done with that so uh i didn't mind it though i was a bigger fan of issue 30 than i was this uh but yeah I guess everyone has their own tastes. And then uh, we have issue number five, Ash and the Army of Darkness. Sorry about the glare. I, uh, I haven't read any of these yet. Issue number five, Black Science. Issue number five of Pretty Deadly. Issue number three of New Warriors. Issue number two of Moon Knight. Pretty pumped to read this. As well as this. Uh, issue number four of The Punisher. That's been really, really good. And then issue number 19 of The Old Cap. Uh, America, we're still on this like uh, Mr. Bubbles uh, storyline. And then issue number seven came in with issue number six of Superman Wonder Woman. Uh, I love that cover. It's pretty pretty badass. Then we have issue number four of The Twilight Zone. Seems like it's been a while since I've read that as well. Uh, issue number 11 of East of West. And this book's always good. And then this was the surprise. I said that I was disappointed that I got issue number one because I thought I wasn't pulling it. But then I read it and it's actually really good. It was, I didn't think it was going to be any good. But this is issue number two, all new Ghost Rider. This was actually very good. I, like I said, I just thought it was going to be trash and I guess I was proved wrong. And then we have issue number 11 of Avengers AI. Issue number nine of Mighty Avengers. I see we're finally getting into this Ronin revealed. They've been teasing this forever. So finally we're going to find out who it is. I think I have an idea who it is. So I think everybody does by now. And then we have issue number 24 of Thunderbolts. I love that cover. Uh, Thunderbolts is never bad. Issue number 11 of 
the superior Spider-Man, or the superior foes of Spider-Man. Hopefully this is better than the last issue. Last issue was a filler issue. Um, we will see, because the last issue was hot trash. And then we have the uh, normal cover for What If Age of Ultron. And then the last one is the normal cover. That was issue one. And then this is the normal cover for issue two of What If Age of Ultron. So I haven't read number three yet. But hopefully one was good. One wasn't as good. Hopefully a third one will be just as good. So that's everything for new comics. And we actually did it in like under... 10 minutes which is or 11 minutes i guess which is pretty impressive like i said i haven't read much so i didn't have much to comment on it and i thought it might be nice to uh speed through it a little bit so uh you don't waste all your time with me uh i do have a bunch of back issues and stuff that i will show off and uh we'll do that in another video so as always like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you for watching.